So, this is the ship of understanding. Yep, this is it. Pretty impressive. The professor has had it for as long as I can remember. He really is a genius, to have built something like this. He never did say how he built it, though. Still, this is way ahead of anything I've ever seen. So, how have you been doing? Mostly running errands for your vampire girlfriend. Other than that I'm good. Mina did say she'd been keeping you busy. I know why she did it, to keep me in one place until things calm down. Now that the gaming defender is on our side, things have calmed down a lot. Well, not completely. Did you hear the recent news? Which one? There's been a few things in the news lately. The whole thing with Infinite Warfare, about it being pay to win. I heard about that. It is a best case example for why gamers should never buy pre-orders. But, don't pre-orders ensure you get the game early and sometimes with a bonus. That is how gamers are lured into buying them. But, if you pre-order you are taking a big risk. How so? More and more, game studios and publishers are no longer releasing early review copies of games. It used to be that reviews were out on launch day, unless an embargo delayed the release of the review until a few days later. Reviews are subjective though. Some games got bad scores from reviewers, but gamers liked them anyway. That is true. Reviews are subjective and you should never base your purchasing decision on just one review. And that is the problem. How do you know if a game is good or not until you've been able to see a few reviews so you can make an informed decision? If you pre-order a game you are committed. It is a $60 or more gamble, and for the average gamer $60 is a lot of money. If the game is good, you made a good investment. If it isn't, depending on where and how you bought the game you're probably screwed. Why is that? If you bought the game on Steam or good old games you can get a refund, but if you were on the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live you might be out of luck. And, if you pre-ordered the game through GameStop that is its own can of worms. Reviewing a game takes a long time. The best reviewers actually finish the game first before releasing a review. Others only do it after playing the game for a few hours. That isn't enough time to get a good impression of the game and to decide whether it is good or not. So, the average game review takes about a week or more depending on the game and the workload of the reviewer. I think I understand. No wonder most game companies aren't releasing early review copies anymore. Poor reviews could impact pre-orders and early sales. And with the quality of AAA games falling in recent years it is no surprise. For them, it is better for their bottom line to build up hype to encourage pre-orders and day one sales. But, such a practice is very anti-consumer. They are denying consumers the information they need to make better informed purchases. While also building up lots of hype for the game. Apologists will make excuses, but the reality is this kind of practice is anti-consumer and unethical. But, even game companies are in the business to make money. I get that, but there must be rules on how they make their money. That is why the corporate world today is so corrupt. People hold capitalism up on a pedestal. But, the hard truth is corporations cannot be trusted. They will skirt the edge of the law. Or, even break it and pay politicians to look the other way if they think it is good for their bottom line. I came from, that world. I know how deep the corruption can be. The professor taught me that all things are connected. That what is happening in the gaming industry is a reflection of the current state of the corporate world. And, that is why we should not pre-order games. If we do, we are encouraging the kinds of bad corporate behavior that is destroying our quality of life. Exactly.
Are you sure about this? Absolutely. I've got a lot of time to catch up on. So, what will it be? Tacos or burgers? How about burgers and fries? Good. You will love my seasoned fries, and I use sweet onions in my burgers. Cool. Did you hear that pre-orders for Watch Dogs 2 are low? Yes, I heard that recently. It is a good sign. Gamers have been burned a lot in recent years. It is good to see that some are learning that pre-ordering isn't as good as the advertising makes it out to be. Waiting for reviews is probably the best things, even if it means buying the game after it's been out for a while. The biggest problem for younger gamers is peer pressure. Their friends might pre-order a game and that could make them feel as if they need to as well. We should encourage them to stick to their guns, don't give in to peer pressure, so when their friends get burned by a bad game they can be a role model for what not to do the next time. This is true. Let me get started, those burgers won't make themselves. 